Hi, I'm Sue Boo bringing crafting to you and today we're going to make a bunny treat holder using the tab topper punch. So you will need a piece of card that is seven inches by two and a quarter inch. We're going to score along the long side at three eighths of an inch and I'm going to three quarters of an inch then I'm going to spin it round and um, do two and a quarter and two and five eighths and four and one eighth Right, just check that four and one eighth. There we go. Now, let's move that out of the way so um, it's going to fold like this and like that. So, we're going to actually put our DSP on this piece here. So I'm just going to measure what size we want our DSP. So I'm using terracotta tile. So we want a piece two and one eighth by, so I'll just write that down. We want a piece, so I'm going to put that down. DSP, we want, I'll do that again, two, I'll just get that right, that's that piece there we want, no it's not two, it's one and three eighths, so we want a piece one and three eighths, Let's check that again. Yeah, one and three eighths by two and one eighth by two and one eighth. So just gonna cut that now. So I'm going to use the ombre paper. It's a lovely limey green. So I'm going to uh, use that. So it's uh, one and three eighths. So that's one and three eighths. I'm going to pop my blade back in. So one and three eighths by two and one eighth. So it's near enough there. I think it is there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually stick that. So make sure you've got it going on the right way. So just position. So you bring in it in and in and in. So it wraps round like that. We're not going to stick it for the moment because we need to put it in the die cutting machine. But it's going to sit like this. So we need to put it on here. So that's the second one up and we're just gonna glue this on there we go so we're gonna put that there make sure you've got that in there now um the die that I'm actually using is a Karen Bernstein's die because I haven't got one in Stampin' Up! But it's one and a half by an inch wide. So you want something that's one and a half by an inch wide. Um, the best thing would be to do is go through your dies and just position your bunny on the top. And this die fits perfectly for the bunny. So uh, that's how I actually do this. So I'm going to get out my mini and then I need to wait 
one and two twos. Okay, so put my one down and I'm going to put a two down and then position this in the middle. Okay, just make sure you've got that in the middle and put your plate on top. So I've kept it flat. Oops, I think that's about right. It won't matter if it's not. Oh, hang on, it's gone. I'm going to put it further on. It's because I've bent my card round that um, it's moving when I put it on. And I don't really want to stick tape on the top. We'll go for that. Okay, so put run that through your die cutting machine. There we go. And let's just move that to one side. Okay, so now we are able to stick this together. But before we do that, I'm going to put this part in the tag topper punch. But before I do that, I'm going to put my piece here. So I'm just going to measure this. So again, it was two and one eighth you want by uh, two and three quarters. So it's two and one eighth by just check that again it's uh two and three quarters two and three quarters okay so i'll bring back in our trimmer and we want it two and three quarters i'm going to put that in there there we go, two and three quarters, move that out of the way. And I'm going to pop this with equal increments all the way round. So so let's position this. Right, just while we're waiting for that to uh, adhere a minute, make sure we've got it equal. I'm going to pop that to one side. And then from the birds and branches, I'm going to get a piece of green card. So, um, This is uh, Colour Me Clover. You could use Just Jade. Uh, any of your green car stocks that you've got will be fine. Sorry about that. I'm just going to run this through my die cutting machine. My bunny out of the way. That's it. I'm just going to see that might. I think that's going to be enough on there. So I'm going to put that on there. Uh, but I need to leave a little bit. So I'm going to cut this. So I'm going to cut this higher up so that we've got that going off there like that. I'm going to get rid of. That branch there and I'm gonna cut it just there so I'm cutting my foliage up so that it um, let's see if we can have a little bit more around that and then I'm gonna go in here and just round 
so it gives me a nice leaf like that okay so I've rounded it like that uh, and that's going to probably go off there like that so I'm going to glue these on so I'm going to glue this middle one on first so let's put this on there we go and put this there like that then I'll have this one coming off right against there like that and then we'll pop this one on as well so go I'll, I'll stick it up there like that okay right now oh no, I've stuck it too high, haven't I? Whoops, that's because I haven't put it through my um, tag topper punch yet. Oh dear. So let's hope that it's going to go now. I'm not so worried about it because I'm going to decorate with flowers in a minute. So... Um, Going to use the flower in the birds and branches. Okay, so we're going to feed this through the tag topper punch. Now it is bigger than the two inches, so what we need to do is when we're feeding it through, we're going to make sure that we get it in the middle. Now I'm not worried about what it's going to cut off i'm just wanting to make sure that it is in the middle i'm going to put it down and then punch it off okay so i've got rid of that and i'm going to pull out my tag top punch now it will you'll need to round so just round the bits here so I'm just going to round that and round this okay there we go that's worked out it's not cut much of my leaf off at all so then we're going to bring this round and round and because I'm wanting it to dry fast I'm going to use my um, I often use wet glue but because uh, I'm on camera I'm going to use my um, strong tape so you just want to put it right along the edge there like that let's just make sure there we go and then also so we've done it along that edge we are also going to do it along the second score line edge as well okay so just burnish that down and then we'll peel it off okay i'm going to get a little bit of glue to glue down the edge and glue on there as well so just be careful when you're bending this round so we want this here to go against the score line so not the first one we're bending that up but we want the second one to touch the score line like that so that and we're going to bring that up there and then just press in with your bone folder just got my bone folders there and just bend it a little bit forward to give it that 
that it's going to stand up like that okay so your bunny is going to fit in there nicely but we're still going to decorate this yet so we're going to get uh, some flowers uh, I just happen to be using up scraps that's a very nice yellow and I'm going to go over with my daffodil so I'm just going to get my So I'm going to stamp on here using uh, the Bursing Branches flower, this lovely little flower here that I haven't used yet. So I'm going to use that Bursing Branches flower there. Okay, and just grab this and I'm just going to do a few. So I'll just get my uh, oops. There we go. So I might only need three, we'll see. Okay, move that out of the way. And uh, I'm going to bring back in my mini and use the die to cut it out now i've got it out haven't i yes i have got it out so we'll bring in just put my lid on the glue there we go so bring back in my mini okay and i'll need my plates so I'll need number one, number two, and then we're going to position this, I think it's, yeah, lovely, it fits on nicely. I don't think there is, I think it's all the same, so I'm just going to trust it is. Okay, I'm going to take that through the mini. number one flower put so put it on the next one and pop that on there so lovely little flower this but I do like the uh, the branches as well and they're so versatile that you can do different things with the branches, as you've just seen that I've cut it up. So you can use it as a whole sprig or you can uh, cut it up, which uh, is quite nice. I think I'll just move that to get that back in position. Set and pop that back through. Okay. I'll just use the three for the moment. There we go. And I want something for the middle, so I'm going to get something sparkly for the middle. Um, just got some sparklies. I'm going to put a, oh, shall I put a red centre in? Yes, I think I'll put a red centre in. I coloured these with my um, alcohol markers. I think, I'm not sure if it's real red that I did, but there we go. And then uh, I'm going to get some dimensionals. And pop a dimensional behind the flowers. 
and then see where I want one. So let's have a look. I have one low down. I have one oops, where is it? There we go. I'm going to put one about there and then one up there. There we go. And we've got our bunny in like that. Right, now I'm just going to do a little piece for the bottom here now that was only three eighths of an inch so i'm only going to need this two eighths so in, in other words a quarter so i'm going to do a quarter just double check that that's the right size yeah so i'm gonna glue this on here Just put that in the middle now. Now I want some little tiny flowers to go on the front. So I'm going to bring back this yellow and I'm going to use the other side because I've got a little bit left. And I've got these little flowers. So I'm just going to see if I can get a few of the little flowers to stick on the front. So I'm just going to go back to my minute and right, there's three that will go there so I think that's it there we go so let's do those so any little flowers that you've got there's tons of uh, little flowers um, this happens to be a magazine set that I've got. I managed to get four there, but I only want three. So I'm just going to flatten this and pop a little bit of glue on the back. And pop one about there. Do another one. And pop there, and then one in the middle. And pop one in the middle there. Now, uh, where's my glue pin? I'm just going to stick my glue pin on. And then I'm also going to stick my little gems on there too so just to finish it off do one there So my bunny fits in like that. And I'm just going to check on Happy Easter. So let's have a look what we've got. Whether we've got that in the oval. Is there something in that oval one? Um, oval occasions. Is it one birthday? Is this to um, celebrate the lucky? No, I don't get that Easter. Let's have a look if there's anything on that. No.
two of my um, my well said I'm looking if there's a happy Easter on that one uh, simply wish Ben's birthday no uh, is the Easter on this one I don't believe it I know I unless I printed it off the computer I thought sure that I had an happy Easter on something um celebrate birthday brother holiday sister fun sweet friend so much blessings there no i don't appear but what you want is a little happy easter on there um could stick it out coming out of the side and i was sure that i'd i'd got one so i'd have to look through um all my uh, little things to see if I've got anything with Happy Easter on but I thought sure I had but it looks as though there's everything but I'll just double check on me well said Okay, no, I am scuppered. So um, it won't be getting an happy Easter on because I don't appear to have got an happy Easter in my uh, sets, but I am presuming that I must have one uh maybe in a non-stamping up product but um so i'll leave it at that but that hope you like that that's uh the little easter treat and that finishes my five for my tag topper punch so hope you enjoyed that thank you very much for watching um if you've not subscribed please subscribe and uh, then you'll be notified every time i do a video thank you very much do appreciate it that you've watched if you've not got a demonstrator i would love to be your demonstrator if you've seen products that you like that i'm using uh, i can help you to purchase them i always send a thank you card and a free gift um, if i've used um, dsp that you would like to use and is no longer available i might have some left and be willing to send it you as your free gift so Thank you very much um, and I will be back on Monday with more crafty goodness. Thank you. Bye.